Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today is going to be another video about how to solve probability genetics problems and actually in order uh, to solve uh, most of the probability problems you just have to know a uh, few rules and I spoke uh, in my last two videos about how to solve probability problems using uh, a pedigree and using rule of addition or some rule and product rule and today I'm going to talk about another rule basically this is going to be a variation of my previous video but today I'm going to teach you how to analyze problems and find uh, if uh, order of the sequence of independent events is uh, given or there is no order so you have to recognize such problems because uh, outcome calculations would be different and frequencies and um, probability would be different for example as you see today's problem is what is the probability that a three child family is two girls and one boy and uh, first of all uh, of course this can be a probability that all three children would be girls so this is first probability girl girl and girl another probability can be that uh, all three children can be boys so boy boy and boy and uh, probability of such an event would be uh, when family would have the first child 50% probability that this is going to be a girl and 50% probability that this is going to be a boy so one half here and when family would have the second child once again 50% probability that this is going to be a girl and 50% probability that this is going to be a boy so once again one half and the same is true for the third child and because each event is independent uh, we have to use a rule uh, of multiplication uh, product rule we have to multiply all these independent probabilities and as you see probability of such an event is 1 8 and the same is true uh, when family would have three children and all three children going to be boys and probability would be the same one eighth so what other possible variants uh, that this uh, family may have this family may have also a uh, variant when two girls and one boy in a family and we have variant when first child is a girl second child is a girl and third child is a boy yet we have another variant uh, when first child is a girl second child is a boy and third child is a girl and another variant would be when first child would be a boy second child a girl and third child also would be a girl so this is um, three different variants when family may have two girls and one boy but also family may have uh, another variant when they would have two boys and one girl and variants are as follows uh, the first child can be a boy second child can be a boy and a third child can be a girl another variant would be first child a boy second child a girl and third child would be a boy and the last variant uh, with two boys and one girl in a family would be the first child is a girl second child is a boy and third child also would be a boy and what is the probability of such an events once again the probability that the first child would be a girl 
probability that second child would be a girl 50% and probability that um, last child would be a boy also 50%. So as you see probability would be the same 1 8 and the same is true here and here. So probability of each um, sequence of events would be the same. So we can put the same numbers here too. So now in order to give a final answer and uh, our question is what is the probability that three child family is two girls and one boy. And as you see here we have three such variants and we have to use uh, some rule. We have to add this probability to this probability and to this probability. So we have to add all these three variants and as you see the answer would be probability of having three uh, sorry two girls and one boy would be three eights. And by the way the same is true for this family of having two boys and one girl, three eights. So let's check our answer. Uh, this family may have all three children that is going to be girls. So one eights. Also this family may have all three children that is going to be all all three children can be all boys. This is one eighth. This family may have uh, all three children. Uh, that uh, sorry, three children. Two of them can be girls and one can be boy. Three variants give us three eighths. And if family would have two boys and one girl. This is also would equal to 3 eighths. So plus 3 8. Now if we add 1 to 1 2 plus 3 5 plus 3 8. So 8 over 8 would equal to 1 or 1 would equal to 100%. So as you see this is our answer but this is not uh, end of my video. The main point that I want to uh, highlight today that uh, when problem give us certain order of events. For example, if a question would be what is the probability that first child would be a girl, then a boy and then a girl again. The answer would be 1 8. If you can connect uh, independent events with word then, this gives you idea that this uh, problem about um, ordered sequence of events. And we have to use um, product rule in order to find a frequency of such um, probability. So, um, also, you have to understand the difference when question doesn't have an order of events. Like uh, if we um, once again read our question today, what is the probability that a three child family is two girls and one boy? As you see, this um, question doesn't give us a certain um, order how boys and girls in this family have to be born. And as you see, there are different variants are possible here. So we have to add all these um, independent uh, probabilities of each sequence of uh, independent um, events. So once again, when you analyze a problem, uh, one of the first things that you have to think about would be uh, to find out if a problem about uh, ordered sequence of events or about sequence of events that doesn't go in a particular 
border. And today's problem were very uh, simple and easy with only three uh, uh, events, with only two variables. But if you would have uh, more variables, more events, you cannot uh, use such simple um, logic in order to solve the problem. But you have to use a formula and I will show you how to use um, formula in the next video. But uh, once again, the purpose of this video were uh, to teach you to analyze the problem and see if problem about um, ordered sequence or uh, sequence that doesn't provide a special order of events. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.